Hello, this is just a quick uh, little mini lesson. <coughs> Excuse me, my asthma. This is um, a painting I've done using ex expressive art techniques and it's almost finished, but it just looks very dull to me. So I'm just gonna show you how to brighten up your painting if you're not happy with it. And the finishing, I've got here a credit card loaded up with white paint and I think it needs quite a little nice white paint put across it, even just Now, if you're not happy with some of that, you can, it's very uh, over the top, isn't it? So you can take some of it out using just an old rag and rub and just leave some of it in and take some of it out. There's too much here, so we take this out. Um, I'm just taking away from some of the art. And again, just, just too much of it. That's, a little bit carried away there so that's looking a little bit better a little bit fresher but i still think it needs a lot more for it and i've got this wonderful wedge you know i love a wedge don't you i always love a wedge and i'm going to be putting some gold paint on here see loaded up with gold and we're just going to twist and turn and twist and twist load it up again should have this in my hand a bit like easier maybe and this very quickly this is gold flow paint look at the difference it's making to this painting in no time I'll bring it over here in a second I just want to follow some of the lines not to overdo it but just to give it that nice bright gold colour uh, and just to pull up into the focal point areas. And anything where the yellow ochre is, I'm just trying to brighten it up and using the side, the side of this is good. And I think, don't be afraid to just dab, dab, dab. I think that's just about it. I think that looks a lot better and I'm a lot happier just with what you see me do in three minutes. So that's how to fix a painting that you're not happy with and there's more to do. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.